So welcome back to the uh, seven day pricing challenge. Uh, we're now on day four. You've obviously gone through the first three days and hopefully filled out the worksheets and shared those with the group now. Um, and you're starting to get a picture now of, of, of kind of what products you're selling and how they how the pricing wise they compare in the marketplace. And you hope, I'm hoping that you've got a little bit more information now just to um, start to develop your products and your pricing um, further. So another way around, um, uh, or sorry, we're on to day four. So I'm gonna be talking about product packages um, and how we package up our products is absolutely vital because um, your clients come to you in a place that they don't know what they don't know. So they know that they might need a website, but they don't know anything that goes into it, what features they need or why really they actually need a website, for example. So it's your job to educate them and take them on that customer journey. So I want to ask you whether if you're, if you're spending a lot of time doing um, uh, proposals and quotations and things like that, um, how you could potentially save time by taking what you deliver and turning it into a, a well-packaged product with a, a series of features and benefits. And ultimately where I want you to get to is to uh, a place whereby you do your initial consultation or coffee or um, strategy session with a prospect and then by the end of that strategy session, you offer them product A, B or C. So we can really narrow down the products. Um, uh, you know, it's kind of like that uh, Henry T. Ford um, type scenario. You can have any color you want so long as it's black. And you've kind of got to get to a point um, with your own products and services that you offer for your clients because um, too much choice um, just pulls confusion in there for them. And if we say to them that it's a very simple choice of product A, B or C, bronze, silver, gold, um, <clears throat> you can then start to work out, well, what features would they get for in, within the bronze package, within the silver package and within the gold package? And subsequently then off the back of that, you know how much time then it might take to deliver it. But what I want you to start thinking about more so is the outcome. So not the time input, but the output, the outcome. So if they book the gold package, for example, how many new leads is that going to generate for their business? Um, how much easier is it going to make their sales and marketing, for example? Um, and trying to, and basically off the back of that, then you can then actually just, essentially, just write down a, a price. So this could be two fifty, this could be five hundred, and this could be nine nine five or something like that. Um, it's really important because not only that, what you don't want is for your client to choose A, B, or C. When you've done your consultation, you want to make a recommendation to them. Based on what we have discussed, I would recommend package B for you. And the cost for that is 500 pounds or 100 pounds a month or whatever it might be. And they might go, oh, that's expensive. And you can then deal with those objections in time or come and speak to me. You've also then got to think about, so a lot of, a lot of people focus on that initial sale, but what comes next? So again, web, taking the web design analogy, um, the next, the logical next step then is um, support and hosting. So what is your follow-up package that sits after that? And um, how much would that be on a monthly basis? Because it's actually um, these monthly packages which are going to create a really sustainable business for you. Um, so they're going to bring in the recurring revenue as a direct debit on a regular basis. So um, don't forget to download the worksheet um, and uh, fill it in and share it with the group. Um, and I'll see you again on day five.